So what we have here is, um, well, we were doing experiments with random number generators, and um, there were a couple of methods put forward. Is this a clock? No. And I've come up with several more, actually. But um, before is I this a dice generator? Before I get drowned out by the sound of me plugging Jaff, <laughs> by Jaff, <laughs> what I'd like to do is just show you this. So basically, it's uh, this is the thing that me and Jath are working on. Hello, Jath. Hello. And um, the basic concept was you got uh, this is Jath's idea here. He's got the four T flips that are linked in series, and another one on the other side. You got two buttons, and uh, some of them go straight into the and, some of them don't. Um, now, if I put lights on these ands as well, it gives me even more random number LEDs. But if I just, I've taken it to this point so I can show you what's going on. If you imagine that these LEDs represent the number, the maximum here is eight. Okay. So if a player comes up and hits this button, now we got four. Player comes up and hits the button, now we got eight. Player comes up, out our button. And then we get them to change. What was it? Alternate buttons with yours. At this point, six. Um, change it again. And now we got six, but a different type of six. And we were trying to figure out how to not get zero and stuff like that. This is where it started, guys. Um, and then after a couple hours, I'm not going to spoil Jath. So you want to go and see his channel for that. There'll be a video up on his channel very soon, won't there, Jath? Most likely. Most likely. So maybe there won't be and you'll never know, guys. <laughs> but basically, uh, hopefully, you'll get to see his ones. Um, so that was where it started. And I, I know it's ham-fisted, but we were just trying to create random numbers. So anyway, I went off and did this, which is a coin flip and dice generator. And guess what? It's missing. <laughs> All the dice are missing. Look, the LEDs are gone. All right, I'm just going to hook this up again quickly for you guys. So, if I put that there. There we go. And then that one. Oh, I see what's going on here. Right, so that one. Oops. And then that one to that one. This one to this one and obviously this isn't really a random number it's just an extremely long string so it's close pick it up the randomness pick is actually introduced by the user it's himself when right. he actually presses the button it whatever numbers that's on is, is going to be random based on when he pushes it and then finally the last one Get rid of that. Right, okay, now let's just remove the extra blocks that I don't need. I had this all built and it didn't save it right, but it was mostly there. Come on, can, what, why is the... Right, Ah, oh, I hate it when that happens. It takes ages to mine one block, right, or pick it up, and then it picks up the one behind it as well. <laughs> Lag. Look, you won't do it. Here we go, ready? Yes! Okay. Alright. So, I guess I'm going to need some hull now. This is going to look pretty poor. Oh, it changed colour. Could put some effort into your builds. Go. Right. Get rid of that. about changing people ship designs. There we go. Right then. Now I'm going to give myself a call so I can zap buttons. It's easier. Right. Zero. Now then, so if I want to start this up, there we go. What are you doing? Wait, hey, where'd that come from? That was part of the original. Wait, what the? Dude, some funky stuff is going on, man. I just had four yellow lights appear and a display block that wasn't actually. Oh, do you know what's happened? I know what's happened. It's a chunk error, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a chunk I'm looking error. at your stream <laughs> and looking at my view, it's totally different. <laughs> oh, it's well. like you got like one layer <laughs> missing. 
<laughs> what the hell happened there? Okay, so basically this is my never rolls a six dice generator. It also does coin flips with the red and the green light. Okay, so basically these two things continuously turn. All right, they continuously turn and they feed into these T flips, much like the last design. And then I've used the T flips, uh, true or false, as the on or off for the LED. Now you'll have to excuse the craziness. What the hell happened? Huh? Okay, for a minute it just everything starts floating away. If I get to about here and you read the numbers, you'll notice. Stop moving, damn it! You'll notice that it's just spooling out random numbers, and it will it it will never roll a six. That was the thing I couldn't get with this. It never rolls a six. I followed it for like a hundred rolls, and it's random, but it just never rolls a six. But I'll sit in front of this for a while, and you can see how that works. It was inspired by hardware random number generators that run two clocks together and, uh, you know, uh, measure the discrepancy. That's how you build them in Minecraft, so 